everybody, Miss Carrie here and welcome to Cookie Story Time. I hope you guys love cookies because we're going to be talking about them an awful lot today. I have a couple of really fun books and a rhyme that if you listen, maybe you'll hear your name today. So I am so excited to read these books. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. If you know our hello song, be sure to sing along. Otherwise, just clap. Okay. Are you guys ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! Okay. So first up, we're going to do a rhyme called Down Around the Corner in the Bakery Shop. So can I see your five little cookies? Okay, are you guys ready? Down around the corner in the bakery shop were five yummy cookies with sprinkles on top. Along comes Gemma with a dollar to pay. She buys a cookie and takes it away. How many do we have now? Down around the corner in the bakery shop were four yummy cookies with sprinkles on top. Along comes Jake with a dollar to pay. He buys a cookie and takes it away. How many now? Three. Down around the corner in the bakery shop were three yummy cookies with sprinkles on top. Along comes Eloise with the dollar to pay. She buys a cookie and takes it away. How many now? Two. Down around the corner in the bakery shop were two yummy cookies with sprinkles on top. Along comes Judy with a dollar to pay. She buys a cookie and takes it away. How many now? We have one. Down around the corner in the bakery shop was one yummy cookie with sprinkles on top. Along comes Theo with a dollar to pay. He buys a cookie and takes it away. Yay! Excellent counting. Okay, so our first book, you may have heard of this book before, and if not, you're in for a real treat. Pun intended. Okay, so this is If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Numeroff, and we are reading it with permission from HarperCollins. Okay, if you guys have been to story time with me before, you know that we sing a song before we read our first book. So if you know it, sing along. Otherwise, just clap. You guys ready? Take a look, take a look at my book. Take a look, take a look at my book. We'll turn the pages nice and slow. Look at the pictures as we go. Take a look, take a look at my book. Oh, beautiful. You guys always sound so good. Not fair. Okay. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a little trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and flip the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. I mean, obviously. So you'll read to him from one of your books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name with a pen. 
Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty. So, he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, what do you guys think he's gonna want? He's going to want a cookie to go with it. The end. Yay! Okay, so our next book is called The Cow Loves Cookies by Karma Wilson, and we're reading it with permission from Simon & Schuster. I bet you didn't know cows liked cookies, did you? Mm-hmm. Yep. Now you know. Whenever farmer feeds the horse, he feeds the horsey hay, of course. The horse just loves to nibble hay. He eats it every single day. But the cow loves cookies. Who can blame her? Farmer knows what chicken needs. He always gives them chicken feed. They scratch and cluck and peck all day. They love their feed. The horse loves hay. But the cow loves cookies. The farmer feeds the geese each morn. He always gives them sweet cracked corn. They honk for joy and flap their wings. They love the corn that farmer brings. Hay for horses, yes indeed. Give those chickens chicken feed. Corn for geese, they love it so. But when it comes to cows, we know that the cow loves cookies. When farmer feeds the hogs their slop, they love to eat that gooey grop. They hoink and snort, they grunt with glee. They eat like pigs, it seems to me. Of course, we know the horse loves hay, and chickens love their feed each day. Grease love corn, as all geese should. The pigs think slop is mighty good. But cow would never eat that stuff. You couldn't pay the cow enough, because the cow loves cookies. Farmer's dog just loves to eat when farmer gives him doggy treats. He gulps and gobbles with delight. He savors every meaty bite. Hay is what horsey needs. The chickens all eat chicken feed. The geese munch corn and taste so fine. The hogs think slop is just divine. The dog adores his doggy treats, but cow would rather eat things sweet. So why? Does the cow love cookies? She and farmer made a deal and every day they share a meal. Farmer packs a picnic lunch and when, and when the two sit down to munch, he takes cookies from a tin and cow gives milk to dunk them in. Yum, says farmer. Cow says, moo. Cow is happy, farmer too. They both love milk and cookies. But the duck loves quackers. The end. Yay! <laughs> All right, you guys have been sitting so nice. Do you want to stretch with me a little? Yeah. All right. Are your fingers ready? Okay. Stretch, stretch, stretch your arms high above your head. Stretch so high, reach the sky, then we'll stretch again. You guys ready? Stretch, stretch, stretch your arms high above your head. Stretch so high, reach the sky, bring them down again. You wanna do it again with me? All right, a little faster. You guys ready? Stretch, stretch, stretch your arms high above your head. Stretch so high, reach the sky, then we'll stretch again. <laughs> Stretch, stretch, stretch your arms high above your head. Stretch so high, reach the sky, bring them down again. Yay! <laughs> okay. For our last book, 
we are going to read another classic. I hope you guys know and love this one. The Duckling Gets a Cookie by Mo Willems. And we are reading it with permission from Hyperion Books for Children and Pigeons. Hello. May I have a cookie, please? Oh, thanks. That was easy. That was very nice of you. Oh, look at all those nuts. Um, hey, how did you get that cookie? I asked for it. You asked for it. Politely, yes. Say, does that cookie have nuts? So you got a cookie with nuts just by asking? Politely, I ask for things all the time. I ask to drive the bus. I ask for hot dog parties. Do I ask for candy? I do. It doesn't have to be a big bus, you know. I'll ask for a french fry robot every now and then. I've asked for a walrus. Right now, I'm asking why. Why, why, why? Do you think that's a reasonable question? Yeah. Oh, there's more. Sometimes I ask for a hug or I'll ask for one more story. I can't count the times I've asked for my own personal iceberg. I mean, don't we all? I asked to say a plate. Oh yeah, I'm the asking in this pigeon in town. But do I get what I ask for? No! It's not fair. Ducklings get everything. Pigeons like cookies too, especially with nuts. Why did you get that cookie? Um, so I could give it to you. And thing was <laughs> what you're giving me that cookie yeah with the nuts that is so nice thank you thank you very much mm, that is one cool duckling mm -hmm. yes sir bye Um, may I have another cookie, please? But this time, no nuts. And no nuts indeed. The end. Yay! I hope you guys enjoyed our cookie story time, and we hope to see you in the library soon. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye!